Hello everyone, welcome to JR MySQL DB tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to install MySQL in Windows machine. So there is some steps. I'll go one by one. First, download the MySQL installer from the MySQL website. So this is a MySQL website. And just copy this and open that in your browser. So you will get a MySQL installer, MSI installer. I have MSI installer. I'm going to install, download that. After clicking to download, there is options. So download the community version. There is a no thanks. Just start with my download. So click on there, or you want to log in with that, so you can log in or sign up with the Oracle website. So after downloading, I'll get a file, MySQL installer community 8.0.32.0 MSI. So right click on that. I'm going to install this. So click on install. So installer is running. So MySQL is open source popular database now it's acquired by Oracle and uh, this name is changed to MariaDB. So MySQL is still is Oracle product and we can download the community version. So I download the entire community version. So I'm just starting the installer. So installation is starting. Let me pause the video. When the next uh, window will come, I'll just continue. So you can, uh, here you can see the user account control, and there is a yes or no. Just I'm just allowing to make changes on my device. So click on yes. Again, your account control, storage launcher, asking for the permission, click on yes again. So I have a, there's a dot net connector is there. If you want to remove then or add setting the connector to my installer. So there is a MySQL server, MySQL server 8.0. I'm 
this may be my SQL server installer and application uh, if you want to access with the workbench then you can just allow the workbench also so accessing the mysql and uh, i need cell sql connector i don't want connector now i don't want to connect this one with anything so cell is removed for now so mysql and workbench two things i am going to install here click on next good Installation is started. So, bicycle server installation is completed now. I'm just starting with the workbench. Uh, my default port is 3306 and uh, I have six correct. Click on next. Here I have to use the authentication mode. Authentication mode, I can I will use the password recommended. Click on next and the password. Password is weak, that's not issue. Click on next. So my Windows service is MySQL 8.0. Start the service when with the start up with the <coughs> the system will start. Click on next. Yes, to grant all the privilege. <coughs> this is my data path. Click on next. Good.
so it will take some more time. Writing configuration file is completed, updating Windows firewall rules is completed, and adjusting Windows service is completed, and initializing database may be take long, long time also completed, updating permission is completed, started the server is also completed, applying security settings completed, everything is completed now. So let me click on finish. Product configuration, start with the startup workbench with the startup so click on finished is completed let me just close this one install it and work range is also open so after finish that our is open so now let me connect with the uh, mysql workbench and let me check the database is connected on it so right, double click on that that it will ask you the password get the rate one two three one is my default password so click on ok So database is connected so here you can see the schema and you can able to see the tables for the that cc schema if you want to create the database so everything working fine that manage database connection everything is there so I can able to just install the install the mysql in windows and you install with the mysql and workbench workbench is windows Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.